options are solid state and true timber, as well as noticeable to me that when I use a 4K mouse, it just feels more responsive. Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today, we're looking at the Infinity Mice Ruin. Huge thanks to Yokai for sending this out to me. I've been a little slow with videos in the past few months as life has been a lot busier, but I still hope to continue to get through these as time goes on for you guys. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. The quick summary of the Infinity Mice Ruin is that it's a beautiful speed pad with a smooth surface and very little skin friction unless you are in a very hot and humid environment. The build quality is fantastic. The base is one of the best as it is with all Infinity Mice pads. The pad works with arm sleeves conditionally. It has that wooden breaker type surface feel and is slightly less clothy than other Infinity Mice options which we can talk about later. So the pad comes available in two sizes, being 490 times 420 times 4mm thick, or a 490mm squared, which is what we have here. They retail for 100 and 110 AUD from Osmochop, depending on the size for those of us here in OCE, or around 50 US dollars from the Infinity Mice website. The pad comes shipped flat in an Infinity Mice box, which I won't show you guys because it's too large to fit on the camera well. As you can all tell, there's this beautiful designed artwork printed on the pad. And also, the Infinity Mice logo is down on the bottom right. Personally, I do love the artwork itself, although it isn't the most vibrant coloring in person compared to how it would look in images. I think it looks a bit more vibrant on the camera than it is in person to me. I guess this has to do with the type of colors used in the first place, because the pad is mostly darker colors, so in person they do come off a bit darker. Now, going straight into the base. The pad features a soft custom IPU base, which feels just like soft poron, and needless to say, the base is one of the highest quality bases there is on the market. I've said this in the past about all the other Infinity Mice pads, and this is one thing that they've always done well. Now, I hope they continue to do this going forward. As for how it actually feels, the base does have a little bit of give and plush if you were to push into it, but it's definitely not in that X soft tier where your mouse just sinks straight into the pad. I think overall the softness is fantastic and right around where I would like it if I was to use a pad that wasn't super firm. Now quickly talking about stitching, needless to say, is immaculate. The stitching itself is very thin and does not ever get in the way of the pad, you can't feel it. Now I can't exactly say if this is surface level stitching or not, but it definitely feels like it's below the surface by 0.5 millimeters or so, which is just simply fantastic. Texture of the pad is quite interesting. The pad is definitely a cloth pad with a cloth feel to it, but compared to some other cloth pads around, such as the Infinite Speed V2 here or Control V2, the Ruin feels a little bit more artificial. Now, I would attribute this to the printing process, causing the pad to smoothen out a bit, and it has a touch of that windbreaker type texture to it. Now, this is noticeable both under your skates and also to skin, but not necessarily in a bad way. I personally would prefer a bit more texture and clothiness to it, but this is still a great surface feeling. Now, going to arm sleeves. The Ruin has a little bit of drag with arm sleeves, but not quite in the straight mud or just not viable degree. If I was to heavily rest my arm on the pad, then it does catch a bit more. But if I'm not applying a lot of pressure, it glides just fine. Uh, however, this only applies when you use it on the x-axis orientation or as it's intended to be. If you were to rotate the pad like this 90 degrees in either direction, the pad then has perfect arm sleeve usage. Now, while there's still a bit of directionality to it, the X versus the Y axes, as with all cloth pads, it's very minor in this case and does not hinder usage at all. When you use this pad sideways with a sleeve, it's easily in that top tier sleeve category. This is the reason I would recommend getting a 490 square because using it sideways on a 490 by 420 version would be quite limiting on the space. Now going into speed and control, the Ruin is one of the faster pads on the market. I think this is definitely a bit too fast to be used for tactical FPS, but would do great in fast paced tracking games or for those that generally just enjoy speed. I want to jump straight into comparisons to make it a bit easier. The best comparison I can give is the Infinite Speed V2, which is loosely what the Ruin is based off. 
Now, if you haven't seen that review, you can go give it a quick watch. I think the Ruin is just a better pad than the Speed V2, and I would definitely recommend it over the Speed V2. But skipping aside all the other details and how they're basically built the same, the Speed V2 surface feels a little bit more clothy than the Ruin, which I think is a win for the Speed V2. However, that's probably the only win that the Speed V2 gets over the Ruin. Now, when it comes to arm sleeves, the Speed V2 is straight up not viable on the X axis. You could do the same rotating of the pad, but then the change in friction as you rotate your arm is still a bit too drastic to be functional. And I think that hinders range of motion. Like if you're just doing the horizontal movement, it'll be fine. But as soon as you start reaching an angle on your arm's rotation, you, you start getting stuck. The Ruin, however, does not have that issue. Now, as for speed itself, the Speed V2 feels ever so slightly faster than the Ruin, but both are definitely towards the faster end of all pads on the market. So then, who should buy the Infinity Mice Ruin? Well, if you like genuine speed pads, and the design aesthetic obviously, and you also want the pad to work with arm sleeves, then this is definitely the pad for you. No other cloth pad on the market right now ticks all three boxes in my memory, so this does make the Ruin stand out as one of a kind in the current market. You have other pads that can also be fast and work with sleeves, but then they're just black squares and so on. You have pads that are fast with designs and then they don't work with arm sleeves, and so on and so on. So basically, only the Ruin currently ticks all three boxes that I'm aware of. Once again, Huge thanks to Yokai and the Infinity Mice team for sending this out to me, and congratulations on creating a great product. I look forward to seeing more Infinity Mice releases in the future, and I hope that they can continue to cook like they have been doing with all their products. Until then, see you guys in the next video.